The film begins with a very tense scene where a well-known Nazi soldier named Heinrich was being chased by his own comrades. He is known as the most dangerous soldier who is now considered a traitor so he must be arrested and punished. The operation was led by von Starnfeld, a very cruel leader who would do everything possible to catch Heinrich. Long story short, Heinrich was finally caught because he was outnumbered. He was then put on trial in front of his comrades. Von Starnfeld said that Heinrich had deserted the Second World War when Germany was being overwhelmed. But for Heinrich, war was an unforgiven thing, so he decided to run away, knowing he would kill innocent souls. He then said that Germany was a killer nation. Knowing that Heinrich wouldn't admit his guilt, he was finally sentenced to be hanged. He was hanged directly by von Starnfeld's assistant named Dorfler and was then left alone to die. The moments before he breathed his last, Heinrich saw the figure of his wife and daughter. He started choking and his heartbeat started to slow down, but suddenly he was rescued by a farmer named Elsa. At the same time, von Starnfeld and his squadron had entered a town in German territory. Not long after that, Heinrich finally woke up after being unconscious for hours. There, Elsa and her Down Syndrome brother, Paul, helped him to recover from his injury. They finally got to know each other. Meanwhile, von Starnfeld was meeting a mayor named Robert and asked about the house belonging to the Lowenstein family. Robert said that he had expelled the family and the only remaining of the house was none but ruins. Upon arrival, von Starnfeld asked about the items in the house. Robert said that the villagers had taken over everything several years ago, but even so, von Starnfeld still wanted to dig into the destroyed building to look for valuable items. On the other hand, Robert looked a little suspicious. He and his mistress named Sanja seemed to know something about the destroyed house. Meanwhile, Heinrich was having lunch together with Elsa and Paul. He then asked the reason why Elsa helped him, and without hesitation, Elsa said that he hated the Nazi that had killed her father. That night, von Starnfeld and his squadron stopped by Robert's Inn to take a rest. It seemed that von Starnfeld was more powerful than Robert's so he could act as he pleased. He also forbade civilians to enter the inn because he would make that place a temporary base. When it was early morning, von Starnfeld ordered the local residents to dismantle the Lowenstein family house. It turned out that the item he was looking for was gold nuggets belonging to the family. Suddenly, Dorfler told him that French and American troops would soon be arriving in Germany. In addition, the soldiers were also exhausted, and if forced to look for gold, then they will be overwhelmed by the enemy. But von Starnfeld didn't care at all, and insisted they look for the gold. Von Starnfeld ordered Dorfler to take supplies of goods and food, while at the same time, Heinrich just woke up from sleep and immediately said goodbye to Elsa. He also thanked her for all her kindness. But before he left, Elsa wanted to ask for help from him. He was very sorry for not being able to help Elsa because he had to immediately look for his daughter. He then talked about her family to Elsa. His wife and daughter were victims of a bomb explosion, but thankfully, his daughter survived. After listening to the explanation, Elsa decided to let him go, but just before he left, they were approached by Nazi soldiers. It turned out that the soldiers were Dorfler and his squadron. They were looking all over the town for livestock. Dorfler immediately ordered his men to catch Elsa's chickens. Didn't accept what they were doing to her farm, Elsa finally came out carrying a rifle and threatened them. Elsa warned them not to take all of her chicken because she also needed them. Dorfler admired Elsa's courage and decided to enter her house. Elsa told him that she lived together with her brother only, but Dorfler suspected she hid something from him. Fortunately, Heinrich had hidden himself in the attic. Elsa emphasized that she only lived with Paul while her fiancé was away. Dorfler suddenly snatched her pendant which made her very angry and tried to take it back. From the attic, Heinrich saw Elsa who was about to be raped, and because he couldn't bear it, he immediately attacked the soldiers very brutally. Unfortunately, Dorfler managed to escape, but even so, Heinrich still managed to kill all the soldiers in just a matter of minutes. Thanks to the incident, Heinrich had to take Elsa and Paul away from that place because soon, Dorfler would definitely report them to von Starnfeld. Before leaving, they took some weapons and other equipment. While exploring the forest, Paul suddenly wanted to return because he had to take care of his cow. 
Helsa then explained that they would die if they returned home. On the other hand, Dorfler was being treated at the inn, and of course, he also reported everything that happened at Elsa's house. He became vengeful and determined to kill them all, including Heinrich. At the same time, they were taking a rest by the campfire. The three of them decided to take shelter in a cave by the cliff. Before they went to sleep, Heinrich told Elsa that he had only ever seen his daughter once, namely when she was just born. He was afraid that his daughter wouldn't be able to recognize him, but Elsa convinced him that everything would be all right. In the morning, Elsa realized that Paul had gone. They panicked and immediately looked for him. As expected by them, Paul had returned to the house to take care of the cows. As a result, he was caught by Dorfler and his troops. Apart from that, he was also tortured so he would tell the location of Elsa and Heinrich. After that, Dorfler also shot Paul's favorite cow and burned his house along with the bodies of the Nazi troops who had been slaughtered by Heinrich. From a distance, Elsa saw her brother kidnapped by Dorfler and screamed hysterically. Meanwhile, von Starnfeld still had not found the gold belonging to the Jewish family. He then called Robert and asked where the gold was. Robert pretended not to know. Von Starnfeld thought that the people in this town were not obedient enough to him. And for that, he decided to hang Paul in front of everyone so they will be afraid of him. On the other hand, Heinrich and Elsa had arrived in the town and saw a crowd. Shortly after, a priest forbade von Starnfeld to kill Paul. Von Starnfeld then ordered Dorfler to beat him. Seeing that Elsa really wanted to go to the crowd, Heinrich immediately stopped her. The two of them then asked for help from a resident of the town named Ermgard while Paul was taken to the top of the church bell tower and was about to be executed. But before that, the two soldiers mocked him and called him a moron. He was irritated and attacked them both. One of them was pushed and fell from the tower while the other one was shot to death by him. During the commotion, Heinrich and Elsa secretly entered the church while Paul he was getting out of control and started shooting at other Nazi troops, but unfortunately, Paul had to die after being hit with a headshot by von Starnfeld. Seeing her brother who was covered in blood, Elsa couldn't hold back her tears, but she didn't have time to cry because von Starnfeld would definitely find her. Outside the church, von Starnfeld was threatening Robert and the residents that he would shoot each of them if no one told him about the gold. But suddenly, Elsa attacked von Starnfeld somehow without a single shot hitting him. And instead of attacking her back, von Starnfeld somehow fell in love with her. While von Starnfeld was amazed by Elsa, Dorfler and the others chose to chase Heinrich. Fortunately, he had grenades in his bag. Then a shootout ensued on the roof of the church. Heinrich, who ran out of ammunition, had to rack his brains to defeat Dorfler and the others. He led the Nazi to the corner and threw the grenade. He then jumped from there to get away. Unfortunately, Heinrich was blocked by several soldiers standing guard below. Like it or not, he had to get rid of them quickly. He then got to face Dorfler who was strong enough to hold him back. When Heinrich was about to finish him off, suddenly the town was attacked by an American plane. The attack was used by Heinrich to escape and hide in Ermgard's house because he was seriously injured and there was no way he could fight all the armed forces. Seeing Heinrich who was injured, Ermgard immediately treated him and allowed him to stay for a while because when he saw Heinrich, he remembered his son who was killed during the war in Italy. Not long after that, the priest showed up after burying Paul. Heinrich then asked about Elsa's whereabouts and what was the main purpose of von Starnfeld's troops being there. The priest then said that Elsa had been arrested and that the reason why the Nazi squadron was there was to loot for gold from a Jew's family, namely the Lowenstein family. On the other hand, Robert secretly goes to the basement to meet his two friends. It is revealed that the three of them already knew the location of the gold, but Robert decided to tell von Starnfeld because he didn't want his child to be killed. But when he was about to leave, he was suddenly hit by a shovel and sent him falling to the ground. The one who hit him turned out to be Sanja. Sanja then ordered one of the men there to finish off Robert with the shovel. At the same time, Elsa was in von Starnfeld's room. She was invited to have a romantic dinner by him. Von Starnfeld said that Elsa was very similar to her ex. 
back then, he couldn't marry her because his lover was a Jew. As a result, von Starnfeld shot her to death and then kept the ring he gave to her in his left eye, which had been gouged out a long time ago. He then kneeled in front of Elsa and put the ring on her finger. Meanwhile, the priest and Ergard were telling about the Lowenstein family. They were the only Jewish family in the town. But since Hitler did a massive massacre of the Jews, Robert did the same thing to the Lowenstein family, which was a respected family that had never harmed anyone. During the riots, Sanja and the others found their gold nugget. She then hid it in a tomb. Meanwhile, Sanja had decided to take the gold nuggets tonight. They visited the tomb and were about to take the gold, only to find a Bible inside the casket and unexpectedly, it turned out that the gold had been taken by the priest and hidden in the church. Heinrich persuaded the priest to hand over the gold to von Starnfeld so he could save Elsa. On the other hand, Elsa was about to run away from the room when von Starnfeld was sleeping. She then saw a ring on Con Starnfeld's finger. Out of curiosity, she then checked on the ring and found a hidden compartment with an unknown pill inside. Unfortunately, von Starnfeld suddenly woke up when she had managed to take the pill out. Elsa immediately pretended to seduce him and asked for a kiss. That was when she used her mouth to put the pill in von Starnfeld's mouth and hit his jaw to break the pill. Turned out, it was a cyanide pill that led to von Starnfeld's death. On the other hand, Sanja and the others had managed to find the priest and attacked him with a shovel. At the same time, Heinrich threw a lump of gold into the inn to provoke Dorfler out. Heinrich said that he would give all the gold if Dorfler wanted to free Elsa. He then went to check on Elsa, but when he went to his superior's room, he was very surprised because von Starnfeld was dead and Elsa was not there. This situation was also used by Dorfler to lead his troops. He then tried to deceive Heinrich by using Robert's wife as a fake Elsa to take him off guard and attack him. The sound of the explosion was heard by Elsa, who had just arrived at Ermgard's house. She desperately wanted to help Heinrich, but she had no weapon with her. That was when Ermgard showed her collection of rifles that she often used for hunting. On the other hand, the priest was being interrogated by Sanja, but he just didn't budge even though he had been punched many times. The same as the priest, Heinrich was also interrogated by Dorfler. He even got a blood transfusion from Dorfler himself, so he wouldn't die before telling the location of the gold. The next morning, the priest took Sanja into the church to get the gold here. Sanja intended to kill the priest when she got the gold. Not long after, the gold was finally found, but without them knowing, the priest had made a booby trap with a grenade and managed to kill Sanja's men. A few moments later, Dorfler and his squadron entered the church. He was very surprised to see its messy condition. It could be seen that there were still gold nuggets left. Dorfler then killed the priest so that no one could stop him. After that, Dorfler asked his troops to get a casket to take all the gold nuggets, but outside the church, Elsa was ready with an RPG. She then fired it at the church. Thanks to her shot, the entrance to the church was blocked by the collapsing wall, and this was also by Ermgard to kill Dorfler troops. Then, after seeing the body of the priest, Ermgard went berserk. She even managed to stab Dorfler and almost killed him. But unfortunately, when she was about to finish off Dorfler, suddenly she was shot in the head. Seeing that triggered Elsa's anger and immediately made her shoot blindly while Heinrich was dying. Elsa managed to finish off all of Dorfler's troops, but unfortunately, Dorfler was still able to get up even though he was stabbed. He then hit Elsa until she fell. He was choking her, making him off guard. Suddenly, Heinrich was able to get up and beat Dorfler to death. He then stuffed a gold nugget into Dorfler's mouth, and after that, Heinrich and Elsa left the church. Turned out, one of the Nazi troops was still alive. He looked at the gold nuggets and tried to claim all of them when suddenly Sanja, who turned out to be alive, shot him dead. She then took all the gold and ran away from the town, but she didn't last long because American soldiers, who just arrived in town, shot her with tank shells, sending her flying from the explosion to her death. At the end of the film, Heinrich invited Elsa to go to the city of Hagen to meet his daughter. He was very happy because he could finally see his daughter again.